You're about to watch 20 dash cam videos of road rage, drunk drivers, instant justice, and more. All of them were sent directly to us by the people who filmed them, so let's dive in. Kyla was driving her Pontiac Vibe when the driver of a GMC Yukon failed to yield to her at an intersection where he had a stop sign, but she didn't. When the Yukon began crossing the road in front of her, Kyla had no opportunity to stop before slamming into it. Thankfully, firefighters arrived only four minutes later to provide aid. What was the Yukon driver's excuse for causing the collision that totaled Kyla's Pontiac? He told the police he didn't see her car approaching, in spite of the clear line of sight he had long before he started across the road. Kyla wanted to take this opportunity to remind our viewers that you shouldn't sit too closely to the steering wheel, as this can cause injury in the event of a collision collision by preventing proper deployment of the airbag. This next video is crazy and involves an SUV ramming April's SUV before driving off, but the story doesn't end there. She was headed home after a family pool party at her father's house when she noticed a Yukon straying from its lane. When April's light turned green, she floored the accelerator to create some distance, but it wouldn't last for long. The Yukon eventually rear-ended April's Hyundai Santa Fe. At the time, she was going 58 miles per hour, and she estimates the Yukon was going around 70 miles per hour. It then passed her in the oncoming lane over double yellow lines and took off. April called 911 and gave the operator the make, model, and license plate number from the SUV. She managed to pull up next to the driver and told him to pull over, but he just took off again. I have you on camera! You hit me! You need to pull over! While the 911 operator dispatched police to her location, she followed the Yukon into a gas station where she thought maybe the driver had had a change of heart and was finally stopping. Instead, he repeatedly asked her to get out of her vehicle, which she refused, before examining the damage and giving us this beautifully clear shot of his face. The guy then told April he was going to the hospital for reasons unclear before fleeing the scene yet again. She waited for police to arrive and turned everything over to them. Her clear video evidence allowed them to charge him with fleeing the scene of a collision. She told us she's grateful to her dad, Jeff, for teaching her good driving habits like paying attention to what's behind as well as what's ahead. Okay, we'll back off the Yukon drivers. Alexander was driving to work one early morning when he started observing the careless driving of a Toyota Sienna. As it continued speeding down the road, Alexander noticed headlights on the left side of the road come on, and he immediately knew he was about to witness the Sienna driver getting instant justice. Not only did the motor deputy stop the Sienna driver, we can see they weren't the only driver who was in a hurry to get to work on time and who now would probably be late. Remember what we said in last week's video? Give yourself enough time to safely reach your destination. These guys should be thankful their speeding only cost them a traffic fine. Our next video shows someone who got more than a ticket for their bad driving. Nicholas inched forward to make room for an oncoming driver who wanted to turn across his lane. Instead of waiting until they could see that traffic was clear, the other driver decided to gun it, giving the driver of an SUV no choice but to T-bone their Honda. And no, I didn't forget the Honda bump jingle. Not every collision involving a Honda is a Honda bump. So what counts, you may ask? Keep watching, as we've got a prime example coming up later in this video. Nathaniel was driving down an Illinois highway when traffic slowed down and he could see smoke rising in the distance. Check out what he witnessed when he got closer to the source of the smoke. Nathaniel told us that firefighters successfully extinguished the flames, but removing the debris took hours. No doubt thanks to rubberneckers, traffic on the other side of the highway was affected as well. I wonder if that's why my package arrived late. Gabriel watched a driver in Georgia shoot the gap, and their two vehicles came within inches of colliding. We don't know why people try this. If you can't see who's coming, wait until you can. Shooting blindly into the street is never safe. 
CM was driving down a Texas highway when he started getting close to his planned exit. Making sure to leave room for a Honda Accord in the exit lane, he merged right, but the Accord driver took this personally. Before CM had a chance to exit the highway, the Accord driver sped around him, clipping the front of his Honda Civic before driving off. CM chose to pursue the other driver rather than letting him get away with the hit and run. Sadly, CM was driving for a rideshare service at the time and had passengers in the car. So he eventually gave up the chase when they started to get nervous. He made a police report after letting the Accord driver get away. To make things worse, the deductible for his coverage from the rideshare service is $2,500 US dollars and a shop estimated the damage at $2,000. So he'll be paying for the entire repair bill out of his own pocket. He's just glad nobody was hurt. Jacek was taking his granddaughter fishing when they were suddenly faced with a pickup pulling a trailer headed straight toward them. The driver of the GMC pickup was passing in an area where it was illegal for him to do so, and Jacek was forced to the shoulder to avoid a brutal head-on collision. Thankfully, no collision occurred, and Jacek and his granddaughter Hannah made it to their fishing destination where she caught her first rainbow trout. Fernando was heading into a roundabout when the overhead traffic signal turned yellow, prompting him to stop. A white Kia SUV rear-ended him, and it looks like the driver didn't even try to slow down before the impact. Actually, I think the driver was intentionally swerving into Fernando's lane in an attempt to overtake a car that had stopped in the other lane. But he expected Fernando to keep going rather than stop. Fernando told us he never misses a Wham Bam video, and he particularly appreciates our Wham Bam en Español channel featuring Spanish narration. Gracias, Fernando. Nos alegra que estés satisfecho. This submitter was headed home after a long day of work. He had just filled his gas tank and was planning to start a vacation the next day as he began making an unprotected left turn through an intersection. That's when the driver of a Toyota RAV4 tried to pass him in the middle of the turn. Only our submitter's quick reflexes protected him from the other driver's reckless and illegal maneuver. The RAV4 driver then seemed to brake check our submitter, so he kept his distance and pointed out his dash cam. At the next red light, he tried to get our submitter to pull up so he could talk to him, but he wasn't taking any chances. Our submitter now wonders if the Toyota driver was going to apologize, but I think his facial expression from earlier might be a clue as to what kind of mood he was in. What do you think? We promised we'd show you a real Honda bump, and here it comes. Cody told us the driver of this Honda was on her phone when he was Honda bumped. Jump in! Honda bumped! Honda it's true, we've been inconsistent with the application of this term in the past, but today we're setting the record straight. It's only a Honda bump when a Honda slowly rolls into the back of another vehicle stopped at a red light. After they'd pulled into a gas station, the Honda driver got confrontational and told Cody the damage wasn't that bad, that she had a long trip ahead of her, that it wasn't her fault, and so on. Fixing Cody's Audi cost 3,700 US dollars. Of course, this wouldn't be an episode of Wham Bam Dash Cam without a Tesla behaving badly. Daniel was proceeding through a green light when a Model 3 drove right through a red light without slowing down. Bad, bad. Tesla man can drive. Someone commented on a previous episode that these videos prove that smart cars don't have smart drivers. Actually, smart cars are German cars that burn gasoline, while Teslas are American cars that run on electricity alone. Oops. Blair was heading through an intersection when a driver from the right went flying through his red light, slamming into her Toyota 4Runner, ripping off the front bumper cover and bending the frame. A witness stopped to provide a statement to the police. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, and the other driver admitted fault and told the cops he'd been jamming out when the collision occurred. Blair hopes her 2005 Forerunner with 229,000 miles won't be totaled. But personally, I'd take the opportunity to upgrade. Forerunner fans, let me know in the comments all the reasons why I'm wrong. 
Penny's mother was bringing her brother home from school when a Honda driver made an unprotected left turn across her lane, forcing her to slam on the brakes. Thankfully, no collision occurred. Right afterward, Penny's mom said, that's going straight to Wham Bam. They watch our videos together as a family, which is so cool. Before anyone says she should have stopped rather than proceed through the yellow light, let me point out that it was only yellow for half a second before her front bumper crossed the stop bar. This submitter watched a Hyundai blow through a stop sign and take the front bumper cover off a Honda SUV. Our submitter even honked to warn both drivers, but to no avail. The Hyundai driver then took off while our submitter stopped to check on the Honda driver. Thankfully, she was unhurt. Our submitter told us he had to get to class, so he doesn't know if the hit and run driver was ever caught. He also said he has a video he plans to send in for Wham Bam security cam. We can't wait to see it. Lucky was headed home with an empty horse trailer when a Chrysler 300 went flying past him on the highway. Thankfully, the driver of the SUV Lucky was about to pass noticed the Chrysler flying up behind them and pulled over to give it room. The Chrysler then passed an SUV on the shoulder and continued driving recklessly through traffic. Lucky told us he later saw the Chrysler make an illegal U-turn across the median before speeding off in the other direction. When he called the police, they told him the vehicle was likely stolen, but that was never confirmed. KMB doesn't have a dash cam, but after he was nearly sideswiped by a white SUV, he used his phone in a dashboard mount to film out of his windshield while he continued to drive. While KMB followed the white SUV, he watched it hop curbs and drift over lane lines while his wife called the police. After nearly running a red light, the driver of the white SUV backed into KMB's Kia Soul before driving off again. Eventually, a police car pulled up behind the white SUV with the party lights on, but it still took her a while to pull over. Once she did, she backed into the cop car before another one pulled in front of her, blocking her in. KMB told us the driver was arrested by the police and he suspects she was intoxicated. Thankfully, the damage to his Kia was minimal. By the way, a phone in a dashboard mount is a great tip if you don't have a dash cam. Just remember that you'll need to start recording every time you drive and delete the old footage when your phone fills up. Bree watched a Mercedes pull out into traffic right in front of a Porsche. The Porsche driver barely had time to react to the Mercedes invading their lane. Thankfully, no collision occurred. Dimitri was headed home from a night at a casino with friends when he watched an SUV driver dive for an exit before clipping the back of a car. Both drivers pulled over and stopped as Dimitri continued. He told us this happened only a month after getting a dash cam and that he was inspired to buy one by watching our videos. Thanks, Dimitri. Launch Fanatic was on his way home from Six Flags when he watched a meteor streak across the sky in front of him. Launch Fanatic told us he's a fan of all the Wham Bam channels and can't wait to someday send in videos to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. If you're a fan, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Wham Bam, we got a Patreon man. Please support the show.